This is the painting level. Here we have a first area, limited by these pillars. We have the second area and here we have the third area. Each area has a different paint effect. I'll show you. I switch to camera view too. I select my post process. I go down to post process volume to rendering features here. I click on the magnifying glass. Here is the painting post instance. I open it. Look. Here. We have behind, the zone which is in the third plan. Then, the area that is in the center and the area that is in front facing the camera too. We will only use these two effects. I'm going to reduce the paint effect on the first area in front. And I will increase it. Maybe too much. I write zero. I increase it. We have the second area which is where the tank is. Here I will increase it. Painting effects. We have the background area. There is the second tank. I'll reduce the paint effect to zero. I switch back to perspective camera. The first zone is here. The second zone is here. The third zone is here. All the elements that are going to be in a zone will be impacted by the zone settings. I switch back to camera 2. We have this result. We check that we are at 200% in quality and that we deactivated real time here. If you leave it on, your image may flicker. So it's better to turn it off. The tank. The tank has this material. I open it. There are three colors. You see, here it says ZY and X. If I change the color of X, the color of the tank changes. X projects a color from right to left on the tank. If I change now, the value of Y goes from front to back. It also changes the color of the tank. What if I change the color of Z from top to bottom? I switch to camera view 1. And I can do it by pressing G. Make the lights appear and move the lights to find. The light I want. I change its area here. This is the felt level. I show you the elements of the level. There are three cameras. There are three directional lights, all must be movable. I set them to movable. We have a background. We have a post process. We have three tanks. Each with a different material. It's the same process we saw for the rendering. Sketch effect. Depending on the kind of effect you want and depending on the camera, you will display or not some elements. Here. The tank. This material. I can change the color at the top. 
and at the bottom. I can also change the gradient. I move to down the gradient. Or I can make it very sharp. Look. If I write one here, I move it down. Or I can apply a gradient. Very soft. I can also increase the contrast. I can change the emissivity. The object can turn completely white. I can increase the strength of the texture so that only the texture or the color remain and the specular. I set the default colors back. If I select my tank and move it up by duplicating, it turns blue. If I move it down, it turns brown. I can apply a sharp gradient. And I can move it down. And move it up. I set the default values back. Everywhere. I can change the background color. I'll delete the items that I duplicated. I'll switch to camera view 2. I already moved camera 1. Since I haven't locked my camera, I can move it. I'll move my tanks. I place my tank. To get the effect I want, I can change some elements if I want. In the white material, the most important is the thickness of the line. Like this. Depending on the effect I want, I can make it more or less powerful. Here is the level sketch. I click on the background. I click twice on its material. And I check color. Now look, I can change the background color. Okay. I'm going to change the color of the tank, I click on the white tank, UA4 shows me the material. I click twice on it. And I change its color by activating the color box. Its color. Okay. Now I want to change the gray color which is here. I select. The gray tank. I click twice. I can change its color. Okay. I can change things like the size of the lines. More or less large. More or less thin. I set back the default values. I can also distort the object. I set back the default values. I can also move the white lines. To have another effect. The sketch effect.
I can also change the black color by clicking twice on it. By activating color, I will replace it with blue. I validate. I have all the setups we saw earlier, to activate them you have to check the boxes. I set back the default values.